Working on my water supply today. I've got one of the fiberglass water tanks and you might be able to see the water level in there. I just poured in about two and a half gallons of water for now and I'm doing a leak test. Of course it's dripping here but I'm not worried about that. This is just to stop it from pouring out the end. And I'm going to let it sit here for a couple hours and see if any water drips out of the bottom and out of the, uh, the main nipple coming out the bottom of the plastic tank. Right there is where I've noticed they fail. That's why I got these containers for free. There was problems and failures in each one. So I've that uh, was a weak point and a problem area in these tanks. So I, uh, I um, sorry, I'm cleaning some junk off as I speak. Brain shut down. Anyway, one of them was broke right there. And I figure though, some of them will have failures down there. Some of them failed in the bladder up top. And basically they failed in various places. And were replaced for various reasons. So I'm sure they're not all going to leak. So I'm just going to let this sit for a couple hours here. While I'm indoors working on the plumbing inside the tiny house. Running the plumbing today and I've got my power drill and I want to put a hole in the wall. I have to figure out where I'm going to put it exactly. I want to put a hole through the 2x4 right about at this level and then run the PEX pipe along the wall and then and under the sink and through. So I have taken apart the cat's area, the bathroom. They're actually quite unhappy with me right now. Uh, let's see. Is that zoomed? That's ah, there you go. Um, this level, up a couple inches right here. So I've got to drill through dry, uh, the OSB and the 2x4 together. I don't want to go too close to the edge of the 2x4 and weaken it structurally. clean it up and be back in a few minutes. I think you can see where I'm looking. Can't quite tell right here. Yeah. I'm going to run the PEX pipe. I'm going to try to put as, as little uh, cuts in the pipe as I can in the tubing. As little as necessary. So really awkward for you to see what I'm doing but I'm gonna run the pipe through the bathroom here up through the ceiling here into the bedroom and around under the kitchen counter all the way to the sink I've cleared out underneath here and I've started fastening the I started connecting the hoses on here um, they're just finger tight only now the since I don't yet have hot water the hot water valve is off. I turned it off already so I don't mess up. And the hot water valve is off and it's only to stop back pressure when I turn on the valve up top and accidentally turn it over towards the hot. Well, guests would be more likely to do it than I would, but rather than having to actually turn it on to the hot and have cold water run up through and back out onto the ground, I have a valve turned off. And then I've got the hose connected. There's a flex hose came with the sink. I uh, connected a screw-on flex hose to a screw-on valve which is going to go across to the PEX pipe which I'm working on here. So I'm going to run that around, tack it to the walls and see if I can form it in the corner and then come along with one piece and have one crimp-on connector in the entire kitchen. And then up under the, uh, in the bathroom I want to run, I'm going to have to put a T in for the sink. Um, I gotta 
figure out where that's going to come through but the blue the hose coming through the wall right now is going to be under the sink a little bit and then run up so I'll have to cut it there somewhere and tee it off to uh, to connect the sink plumbing actually right about there is where the plumbing is going to come through for the sink anyway so I'll probably have to tee it off right there and then go up through the ceiling so I'm working um, I'm working from the sink to the water tanks I'm working backwards because what I'm doing is pressure testing the water tanks outside uh, well just gravity pressure because that's all they're ever going to have and then um, by the time I'm done running the plumbing I'll be able to bring in the water tank and put some water in and try it all out I've got to put a hole here too through here. This is going to be fun doing this one. Back this out of my way a bit. More room to work with. And this line. I don't know if you can see past my arm, but I'm just going to drill a hole through this frame piece. This is not a structurally important frame piece, but it's there. It's also harder wood. I pause every once in a while just for information to let that tip cool a bit. You don't want to wreck your tip, your, uh, your bit. Okay. Now I'll be able to run that through. Now it's time for cleanup again. Try to work clean so I don't have so much to clean up later. Here's a roll of tubing. Runs very neatly along the wall. Comes underneath the sink. Runs along. And over to where my first cramp connection is gonna cramp, <laughs> clamp on, crimp on <laughs> connection is gonna be. I think I made a new word. My first connection is going to be right there. This is a milestone in the tiny house on wheels. Actually, because I don't have to leave this screwed on tight. I just had that sitting on there. I don't have to be uh, fighting with this at all. Let me readjust the camera. I do hope you'll be able to see what I'm doing here. I intentionally did not tighten that up very tight over there. Let's see how much space we got to work with. I'm going just about here. Now, I don't remember how these players work. Oh yes. Whoops. because everything's moving on me. There it is. First crimped on connection in the tiny house on wheels the first ever now I don't know if you can see what I'm doing over here yet 
up to the kitchen. Yes. I'm gonna just screw that back on. Of course, I'm gonna come back through later and make sure that I uh, um, get some more flex room on there. I'm gonna make sure that I tighten everything before I turn on the water. Very important. I could have pulled out this removable shelf, which I made removable for the purpose of making this easier, but I didn't feel like it. How funny is that? I'll probably end up taking it out so I can tighten those connections later. Now this I'll just tie up somewhere up here. Oh, I didn't want it that far. Yeah, I'm going to nail it up to the top somewhere. Somehow. I'll figure that out. Well, there it is. First connection. Move on to the bathroom. What I've done here is I have some barn wood. I cut, I measured how long, how big the water tanks are and gave myself some expansion room to work with. The water tanks have a base of 16 inches and I got two two by tens, which is of course not 10. What exactly are they now? Now that I think of it. Uh, found a, oh, nine. 9 inch, yeah, 2 by 10s I don't know if what the standard is today, but this is 9 inch boards. Anyway, comes out to 18 inches, gives me exactly an inch on each side. And I cut it at 4 foot long, so I'll have a couple inches on either side after I'm done with the... the uh, sorry, I'm trying to see my own self here working. After I'm done putting the plumbing and fittings on, I should have a couple inches on either side. Now the reason for these two boards, they're uh, they're thick. They're about inch and something or other, inch and uh, three quarter thick, inch and five eighths. So they're pretty thick, and what they're going to do is distribute the weight evenly. And I've marked here on the floor where the center point of where the bathroom wall is. So right here, dead center in these supporting beams is the uh, the supporting the, the the wall of the bathroom coming through so that will be a load bearing point right there so I've decided that by distributing the weight like crossways this way and right over the load bearing point of the bathroom wall it is you know I, I didn't uh, how do you put it uh, I don't know if that official carpenters would call it a load boring bearing wall but that's what it's going to be now that's what I'm calling it, an unprofessional term, put it that way. But that will help take the weight and distribute it from the floor all the way through the house to the framing of the floor below. So this should work out. These tanks are 20 gallons with the water bladder, so I'm figuring about 30 gallons. And uh, I figured if I'll probably never have them really full all the way, probably I'll have 40 gallons of water in here, which I think I figured was 320 pounds. Distributed across these two heavy planks. Um, should be good. I'm hoping that'll be fine. So right now, I'm going to go and I'm going to drill through. I've marked a halfway point where the, the wall of the bathroom is. And I'm going to drill through a couple inches in from there, and a couple inches out, so I have room to work with. And this is going to go right through the the uh, the planks, through the floor, which is the ceiling of the bathroom, and then down. And then I can run my PEX tubing up from there. Um, actually. The weight distribution point is here. Yeah, that's going to make it awkward with how I was going to tee this off. I'm going to have to figure that out. I think I can angle it if I have to. Then I want to make it closer to the wall so it's less of a problem with the tee. through. 
I can see down into the bathroom. Now I've got a mess to clean up as usual. Well, look at that. I've got the uh, hole through. I've got the pipe going upstairs. I've got the bathroom tie off. The uh, valve in an off position, which will go to the shower and then down to the sink. I wanted that absolutely separate so that the bathroom is completely on its own line. And then the other runs down straight through to the kitchen. All the way through, of course, as you've seen, around and over to the sink. Now I've still got, I've got these uh, nail-in mounts. I'm going to tie it in over here against the wall. I won't bore you with that, but I'm going to do all that. And then I've got to see uh, my uh, water container outside hasn't been leaking, so I think I can bring it upstairs and put some water in it. And I'm going to have to go down to the creek and get some, uh, some five-gallon buckets of water. And bring it upstairs and do a, a leak test. I'm going to have running water today in the tiny house on wheels. Finally going to have it.